And the city of Houston in Texas is known as the unofficial energy capital of the world. And that recent drop in oil prices is a big concern for city officials. That's why the annual rodeo could not have come at a better time. The event brought in $500 million and 3,000 jobs last year. And as CCTV's Ginger Vaughn reports, the rodeo also has an impact on the global economy. The Livestock Show and Rodeo in Houston is a celebration of Western tradition, including cowboy pastimes like roping and riding. But the significance of the event is also what's not in its name, promoting and selling livestock. Auctions for cattle, horses, sheep and pigs brought in more than $14 million last year from bidders all over the country, and this year it's expected to generate even more. Proceeds help fund scholarships for hundreds of college students in the livestock industry all over Texas. International interest in livestock, especially cattle, brings in ranchers from more than 80 countries to bid on the best breeds to learn how to improve their stock and meat supply. Mexico, Central America, and South America, they're going to have probably the largest presence here. We have a lot of, of good information with how you judge cattle. What the, are, are the meat people looking for when they see the, a steer? They have bought approximately $3 million in cattle and in genetics. People are buying the genetics because they're improving their herds back home. Genetics in the form of livestock embryos and semen help foster more sought-after breeds, which fetches a higher price at the dinner table. Colombian cattle broker Alejandro Velas Moro markets beef genetics to Latin American buyers using Japanese Akaushi cows to make better breeds. At the grocery store, the price of Akaushi, which is lower in cholesterol compared to other meats, can cost as much as four times the amount of regular beef. Akaushi is very well known as the Kobe beef uh, because of the marbling. And we are very interested on the marbling because it, you get more dollars out of the cattle. So when you cross them with other cattle, you get a better product, Brazil and Argentina. Have already introduced a, a Japanese cattle into their own cattle. And um, for example, in Chile, they are right now big on these cattle. So they are crossing it with Holsteins. And right now they are exporting these cattle to Japan and to the United States. Many in the livestock industry say the Houston Rodeo is a lucrative opportunity to showcase their prized four-legged assets. For one hat vendor who's been selling Western hats here for over 35 years, working at rodeos is his only business. I'm Rick Bishop. My wife and I own Western Tradition. Uh, it's a hat company where we travel to stock shows, rodeos, and sell Western hats and custom shape them, custom fit them to your head. I turned 19 down here doing this show 41 years ago, and uh, this company is 35 years old, and we've been here every year. I've seen it evolve. It's, it's gotten much larger, and, and uh, it's, it's a great show. You know, they do a lot for the kids, scholarships. Uh, there's no other show in the country like that, that that does so much for the kids. Most of us are all mom and pop operations, uh, you know, small vendors. This is what we've chose to do instead of having to store. I'm too spoiled to this lifestyle, I think, to work in a store. You know, I'd rather work 12, 14 hours a day than sit in a store for eight, you know. <laughs> Big percentage of us been doing this for years. I do eight shows a year. This is not the only show I do. My uh, abilities as a hat shaper and uh, my uh, longevity at the shows that's what keeps me in business the people that i get to meet at these shows are so great you know the western people and stuff just uh, they have such a different attitude about life and stuff oh a hat is is a it's kind of a symbolism for a western lifestyle western person who likes to dress western i have a deep appreciation for a hat for what it stands for my grandfather and my father all wore hats and wore western people Hats can range anywhere in price from $50 to up in the thousands. My grandfather, who passed away when I was in high school, was very particular about his hats and his boots. He might have holes in his jeans, but he was going to have a nice pair of boots and a nice hat. I think he would be proud of me that I, I chose this line of work because he was so particular about his hats. I didn't know I was going to do this all my life, but, you know, it's kind of where I wound up. And, uh, I've got out of it a couple of times and always wound up back in it.